This video is brought to you by Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly subscription box for guys who give a damn. Each box is packed with high quality gear and useful advice to help step up your life. The contents of each box ranges from tools and drinks to gear for style and travel. Like this Frontier box which includes tried and true gear. Like a Baron Fig notebook, Kaveco Sport fountain pen with spare cartridges, and an oak handled Oppenel number 8. All things that would make your grandfather proud. When you sign up, you'll take a quiz that helps teach Bespoke your interests, and at the beginning of each month, you'll get to see what's in your box before it ships. If you don't like it, you can choose from other boxes available, skip that month, or return or exchange it hassle-free, and you can even add other items from their store to ship with your box. For members, each box will cost $45 with free shipping, $55 for non-members, and has a total value of at least $70, often much more. If you want to see what it's all about, join the club using the link in the description and use coupon code BEST20 to get 20% off your first box. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and it's time for another EDC Weekly at long last. I'm sorry it's been so long, but if you're new here, this is a community show, so I start the show with a few community announcements. This week, there aren't too many because I, I updated you guys earlier in the week, but first... If you haven't submitted to the show in a while, go ahead and do it again. The old form stopped working unexpectedly. I got a lot of complaints that you couldn't upload a file, so I have created a brand new form. If you use that form, you are now entered. If you submitted to the old one, just resubmit to the new one. You can use the same picture, do whatever you need to do. But if you haven't submitted in a while, I highly encourage you to do it again because like I said in the last video, the show will be back on schedule regularly after I get settled in the new office. So after I move out of the space, get the new place renovated, we'll be back on schedule. My guess is regularly we'll start back in January. So continue submitting and I will try to come up with a new giveaway or something, a way to give back to you guys for helping keep the show running. This episode of the weekly has kind of turned into a discord only episode because well, I shared the new form there first. So if you want to get in on stuff early and know what's going on behind the scenes and some other stuff with my personal life and talk with me specifically or directly, you can go to the Discord join and just know that there is a CAPTCHA. So where there was a bot going around sharing some not so great stuff. So I had to install a CAPTCHA bot. So if you join the Discord, check your DMs for the CAPTCHA, enter that CAPTCHA, and then you'll be granted access to the Discord, it's a gatekeeper, so to speak. But these are just five of the best submissions on the new form, so with all of that said, let's do the damn thing. It's also been a while since I've done the show with some whiskey. I felt like this was a nice celebratory show, like I'm glad to be back and I needed maybe a little bit of saucy to calm the nerves or just, I don't know. I just need to settle in a little bit. I've also almost finished the bottle. This is High West Double Rye Whiskey that I'm drinking. So if you have a suggestion for what I should replace that bottle with once it's gone and drink during the show, let me know. First submission this week comes from Jason Gulledge. He is over in the Discord as I think just simply Jason. You can find him on Instagram at JGEDC. And really there's not much that can be said about this other than just, I dude, thanks. Thanks for throwing it in our faces. First up underneath everything, we have the Mighty Hanks 007 handkerchief. And then to the bottom left of the photo is his slip joint knife. That is the Northwoods Signal Jack Appaloosa Bone. Next to that is the Spider Coast Smock. And then his watch of choice next to that is the Panerai Luminor Marina. That is a PAM00422. And then in the top right of the photo is the Mont Blanc. That is the Meister Stuck. I don't know how to pronounce that. Gold coated Le Grand Rollerball Pin. Jason says, I tend to buy watches when I travel. I bought this watch two weeks ago when my wife and I went to Chicago for her new attorney orientation. The Meister Struck. Struck. I don't know how it's pronounced. The umlauts always throw me for a loop. Goes with me every day, as does a slip joint, which changes day to day. I've been talking a lot with Kevin Smock lately, so I decided to carry this particular Spyderco day. It's a very, very classy EDC. Jason seems like a pretty classy guy. He uh, helps me troubleshoot some stuff from time to time. I'm not exactly sure what he does. I know it's tech related, but he helps troubleshoot some stuff. He's actually the one that pointed out to me that the form no longer worked. So thanks for your help, all your help, Jason. I think he also helped me troubleshoot the bot when uh, the nefarious bots were attacking some Discord servers. Fortunately, ours did not get hit, but 
I'm pretty sure the r slash EDC Discord server got hit with some stuff. They got raided a few times too, but we have stuff in place now that we shouldn't have any problems. Really cool stuff. I love the Northwoods knives. I have the uh, Little Bay from Northwoods. I really want a big bay in that same burlap micarta. I just love the clip point. Something about these signal jacks just don't do it for me. The swayback is not something I'm a huge fan of. And slip joints are really, really growing on me. On the other hand, the smock, I know people are going crazy over it. They love it. I'm not a fan of the smock for some reason. I'm also not a carbon fiber fan, but it, it's a really nice looking knife. It's just not for me. Well, and the other two things here, I'm not really gonna say much about because, well, to be frank, they're well outside my price range. So uh, I've not really quite gotten there in terms of, of watches or pins. Thank you for sharing, Jason. Uh, you now have a second entry into whatever giveaway I'm working on because I still don't know what it is. It was supposed to be for October. Uh, we're at the end of October now and I, I have no no clue. The next mission comes from Casey Boatman, and you may recall from the last video that I sliced my thumb open. Uh, that slice came courtesy of this knife right here, the Bradford Guardian 3, which I actually bought from Casey. I had a question in the last video that I don't think I answered. Uh, someone said, I have a barely used knife, how should I sell it? The answer to that is over in the Discord. Just, just join the Discord if you've got stuff. There is a classified section there. You have to talk a little bit to rank up to be able to get into the classifieds channel, but you can sell and buy stuff in the Discord. Don't say I didn't warn you. Uh, it's a slippery slope. It's very dangerous. And uh, we all spend a lot of money and, and, and sometimes make money. More so we spend it than make it, but uh, over in the classifieds in the Discord. So another little plug there, but thank you for the Guardian 3. Casey, I've been eyeing one for a while and uh, really like this one, even though it did slice my thumb open. That was mostly my fault. Anyway, Casey is also a purveyor of nice things. And first up in the middle of the photo is the Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.5. Obviously, these are super popular these days. Attached to that is a Zero Feud Rips Garage Tech Lil Nuke Torch Steel Bead. Underneath that is his wallet of choice. That is the Dasa Fenimer Leather Custom Nimitz Top Sider. And then next to that, he has a Tactile Turn Bolt Action Short in Titanium. Inside that, he has a Fisher Space Pin Refill. Underneath everything is the MCMD Hankery Death Certificate Hank. And then he also has two knives here. The first is the slip joint in the bottom right. That is the Great Eastern Cutlery number 35 calf pin in micarta. And then above that is the Chavez Ultramar 229 Custom Splatter Anno by EDC Gearhouse. Casey says, I tend to write with paper on a wall or not with the pin pointing down. Non-pressurized refills fail. So I always do Fisher Space Pin if possible. I won the Chavez in a raffle recently and it came with Anno included and a discount to other options. I went straight for the bronze splatter Anno. I love it. The Anno is top notch. I can't wait to get bashy scales for my bug out. I won another raffle for creative freedom from them and plan to get that thing done right. Great Eastern Cutlery is the first GEC and quality is way over any other slippy I've ever held and it's with me daily. The Hank, no nose blowing. I use it for wiping up kids spills and cleaning glasses. Minor prying is done with the All Access Pass. It's also for used for flathead screwing plus pocket jewelry. And then the wallet. He said, I got one of his clearance wallets and I loved it. I got this thing a month or two later. The quality he does in Buttero is amazing and it's got twice as many pockets. So I really like the top sider. I've never tried the Nimitz or, or any of the other ones. The only one I've ever had from Dasso Fenimer is the gun deck wallet. And this has been in my pocket for months now. Uh, it's always in rotation. I love this wallet and it's it's minimal stitching, which is another thing that really, really speaks to me. Just this one line of stitching here, that's it. It's really high quality. Love this wallet. Dasa Fenimer, if you're looking for a really nice leather wallet that's, that's classy and timeless and will probably outlast you, I, I highly recommend Dasa Fenimer. Anyway, uh, really awesome stuff here. I, I have a lot of the things here. I don't have a 229, I have a 228 from Chavez, love the Chavez. A lot of you guys love the Chavez knives. Still kinda iffy, I'm on the fence about the clip and tactile turn, as you guys know, I love the tactile turn pins. Um, never had anything from MCMD Hankery, but just really great stuff here. Love this carry. Thanks again, Casey, for submitting. And you now have a second entry into whatever giveaway we have going on whenever I decide to, to draw a winner. I'm, I'm compiling all of these people who have been featured since basically, I think, August. 
uh, for the big giveaway. The, I'm gonna put something together that'll make it worth it, I promise. Next up we have a submission from Ray H. You can find him over on Instagram at rharr203. Ray is a regular over in the Discord, hangs out mostly in the Knives and I think Watches channel. Um, usually makes me feel like a moron with whatever I'm talking about, so thank you, Ray. And uh, obviously he has great taste. So first up in the center of the photo is the Spyderco Capara. On that, he has a Rips Garage Tech clip and he has a red backspacer from someone else in the Discord. We'll get to that. He also has a Great Eastern Cutlery Northfield 92 Antique Goldenrod Camel Bone. And between those two is the Pilot Custom Heritage 92 pin. His flashlight of choice is the Olight S2R Baton 2. And then he has a multi-tool here that is the Leatherman Juice. I think that is the C2. He has a bunch of random keys to a car that he says probably doesn't run, as well as a hashtag knife life tag from Blade HQ. He has underneath everything a Columbia wallet, and then finally to the far left of the photo is his watch. That is the Laurier Neptune V2. Ray says, the Capara has become a sentimental piece of kit for me recently as the backspacer mentioned was given to me by my buddy Moon Eyes from the Discord. In terms of how I use my gear, I find the watch to be the most important bit. Being a student at a university with multiple campuses, several miles apart it's important for me to keep track of time and make sure i'm in the right place punctually the dive time bezel proves useful in timing travel so i know when to leave in order to be on time cooking etc i've been looking for a new wallet looking at dasso fenomera right now but would be open to other suggestions must be leather and no trifle well hopefully i have conveyed how i truly feel about dasso fenomera if you're looking for leather wallet definitely consider Dasa Finimere. I really like the gun deck, but I think if I were to choose another one, it would probably be the Topsider. There are plenty of people over in the Discord who will also uh, agree with me when it comes to Dasa Finimere. The Kapara, I actually really strongly considered this knife. One of the things that did turn me away, obviously, is gonna be the carbon fiber. If they came out with a micarta version of this knife, I would probably own it already. I also need to stop buying knives. But I love the full fillet grind. The blade shape is pretty interesting. I love the choil on it. What's been in my pocket lately more than just about anything is the PM2. And it's just something about that compression lock and the spidey flick is just really fidget friendly and very actually efficient. It's very efficient and ergonomic and I, I just really like this knife and I would like to play with some different spider codes. The only two spider codes, like nicer spider codes that I've ever really used or held even are the PM2 and the Shaman. Definitely gonna be looking at expanding my Spyderco collection in the coming year. Uh, not buying anything anytime soon, but the Kapara is on there, especially if they come out with a, a Micarta version or if somebody else releases Micarta scales for it. And the S2 Arbiton 2 has become easily one of my favorite EDC flashlights while I was searching for my lost dog. That was the light that was in my pocket and being out there and using it and needing something in real time, something with some power, ultimately made me choose this flashlight over the S1R. The S1R died faster and it just didn't hold up to the long use that I needed it in the woods. So if, if it came down to a push came to shove, the S2R2 would be my choice in EDC flashlight right now, other than the one I keep on my keychain, which is the Prometheus Beta QRV2. So thank you, Ray, for submitting it, and you and I have a second entry into the mystery giveaway. The next submission comes from Mark. You can find him over on Instagram as Patina EDC. And this one jumped out at me because, well, it includes a bag. It's not necessarily a bag dump, which is nice, but it does show the bag that he carries every day. This is also a bag that I, I believe it's the bag that I use for a while. Anyway, first up in the top of the photo is the Nutsack Satchel 15, previously known as the Sack Daddy. And below that is all of the gear. Underneath everything is the Not Your Norm Hank Equinox. Then he also has the Tale of Knives Slim Trio Plus Clip. Inside that is an Olay i3T EOS in copper, as well as a Leatherman Skeletal CX and a Machine Era Company field pin. Next to that is the Tale of Knives Clipster, which he has his car keys and other keys attached to. And he also has the Tale of Knives Slim Card Push-Up Wallet. Finally, to the right of that is the Benchmade Bug Out, which is a knife of choice with Flytanium Brass Scales. And then the watch in the bottom right of the photo is the Jack Mason brand aviator that is a JM-A102, which he has a NATO strap company olive green strap 
Right. Mark says, hey Taylor, glad to see you're back to the EDC Weekly and so happy you found your pup. As one can tell from both my handle and my gear, I kind of have a thing for stuff that patinas, especially leather and brass. I have become a huge fan of Tale of Knives and have you in part to thank for that. Love how you open our eyes to fantastic makers. The trifecta of Tale of Knives and the gear in it have become a staple in my carry. Never have I been able to carry so much and have it not feel like anything. The Slim Trio Plus clip is so convenient and rides super close to the body with the Skeletool and the Ola, I feel prepared to handle most anything. And if that won't do it, there's a little more in my nutsack, but I won't get into that. <laughs> but what fantastic bags they make. Here, here. The nutsack stuff, it's waxed canvas and leather. They are made top notch. They're bomb proof. They're really, really nice. I carried this one or at least the size up from this one for a long time. And then a few months back, I was talking about the little mag satch that I carry for just really lightweight EDC stuff. Love both of those. The Equinox from Not Your Norm is amazing and can handle a spill like it's nobody's business. I love keeping it on me. The Benchmade Bugout is, as so many would agree with, a fantastic blade. With the Vitanium scales, it looks so good and personally, I like the heft of it now. The watch was a gift from my girlfriend and therefore holds a special place in my EDC collection. Thanks for doing what you're doing. The community around Best M EDC is amazing. Take care, man. Thank you. And he is also seeking something. He says, I need a Lynch Northwest all access pass. Sell me one. Well, I'm not gonna sell either of mine right now, um, maybe in the future, but not right now. Uh, it's also becoming more and more popular. Like Casey is doing more drops than he would normally do. They're bigger drops, so they're becoming a little more available, but they're still kind of hard to get. Sorry, I can't help you there. Uh, but in regards to bags, I do wanna mention one other thing. The nutsack bags are really, really great, but if you're in the market for another bag in that satchel style, I didn't know this before Jay sent this to me. This was actually uh, like a baby shower gift from Jay. He said he, that we should try using this as a diaper bag. Alex didn't want to use it as a diaper bag. I totally would have. But this is handmade by Jay. This is his, uh, I think it's just a field bag. They're on his website. This thing is really, really nice. So it's not quite as rigid, but this is made out of Cordura and leather and solid brass hardware. It is really, really nice. I love it love this bag anyway thank you for sharing mark you don't have a second entry into the mystery giveaway the fifth and final submission this week comes from cody jones you can find him over on instagram at casper underscore the underscore nerd and the first thing to note about this carry is that he has at least four blades on him which uh it's kind of overkill but you know what you do you first up in the far left of the photo is the leatherman free t4 and then next to that is the benchmade dama steel pin underneath that is his field notes notebook as well as the Benchmade Aller. His wallet of choice in the center of the photo is the Arc Company Boulder wallet, and then inside that he has the Keybar Aluminum and a JL Custom Titanium pick. Next to that, his set his primary blade is the Protec Ferrum Forge Mordax, and then next to that is the BRS Premium Alpha Beast. That's the Bella song right there. And then at the bottom of the photo is his flashlight of choice. That's the Streamlight Protec 1L-1AA. The phone at the top of the photo is the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, which he carries in a moment photo case. And then the watch on top of that is the Boulder Venture watch. And then underneath everything is the Hanks by Hank Vintage Globe handkerchief. Cody has a lot to say. I don't know if I can read all of this, but he says, I love to carry a multi-tool, but I'm always battling with space in my pockets. I went with this because I don't need the pliers that come with most sets. And because of that, it's just the perfect size. Now the pin I got at a local Army Navy store for a steal of only $200. That's a joke, by the way. And to be honest, it's not the best, but I do love it and have no reason to get rid of it. The field notes are always good for taking notes because it's what it's meant for. The little bench made friction folder was a funny joke and I said, why not? And decided to get it. And now I won't ever leave without it. It fits perfectly in the little tactical EDC pocket. No matter where I go, it's legal. I got the wallet after seeing one of your videos on a brand and I probably won't ever get rid of it. Having those pockets are amazing for a key bar and a little custom titanium pick. The main folder knife is a Ferrum Forge Protec Mordax, and God, it's amazing. If you ever want to know what a fidget knife is, then get this. Now, the most important thing in this EDC is my Bala Song. The BRS Alpha Beast was my first ever grill knife I got. The construction and balance is by far one of the best for flipping. I've had this one for a little over four years, and it's hit the concrete more than my shoes at this point. I'm an avid flipper, so leaving the house without a Bally feels wrong to me. The watch is a Boulder Venture watch, and I love the titanium because why not? It's titanium. The only complaint I have about the watch is the small size. I have larger wrists, so it kind of looks funny on me, in my opinion. The flashlight is important to me because I'm always looking for things and I need light. I'm pretty sure this is longer than any paper I have written in all my high school life. Keep up the amazing work and don't forget to use your shit. And he says he's maybe looking for a new phone case because it's starting to wear out. 
I can't help you with the phone case. I, I, I don't really know because there are so many now. Um, and I tend to just get the thinnest, lightest case I can possibly find, sometimes just a skin. The thing to note about this little Benchmade friction folder is uh, a friend of mine, I'm not gonna say who, but a friend of mine uh, likes to call it the Benchmade big toe because that's what it looks like. I mean, it's shaped like a big toe and it's only about the size of a big toe. Be interested to see like, what your actual thoughts are on this. Like it does have one of my favorite things from the Kershuffle, which is like a little pry tool on the end. And it looks like a little bottle opener in the, uh, I don't know what you would call it, the flipper part of the friction folder. I'd also be interested to try out these little Leatherman T-Series tools. I've not held one or tried one. They just look chunky and heavy to me. You've obviously been watching the show and taking my advice on certain things, so I appreciate that. The Boulder Wallet is is one of the my favorites. I've not carried it in a while just because I've had so many new wallets lately and I've been rotating between them, but I love the Boulder Wallet for just carrying little bits of gear, little pieces of gear, pry bars and small knives and stuff, slip joints, so on and so forth. And the Mordax looks like a really, really interesting knife. The Gent is still on my list. Uh, thank you for submitting, Cody. You now have a second entry into the mystery giveaway. And thank you all for being very active members in the Discord. I really appreciate it. Um, you guys have helped turn this community into what it is, which is uh, something very, very awesome. And thank you all for watching. Keep submitting. Go to edcw.co and submit if you haven't, because now we have a new form. Just to remind you, it is a brand new form, so the old form no longer works. This new form, if you want to be featured here or on Instagram or on the website, I did try to kickstart the website again a little bit just to get the ball rolling in there a little. If you want to be featured in any of those places, just go to edcw.co or bestmedc forward slash submit and submit your EDC. But that said, that's going to do it for this video. If you found it helpful and you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe to see more stuff like this in the future and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support what I'm doing here, be sure to hit those links down below. Everything mentioned in this video will be linked down below. If you click and buy anything, using those links those are affiliate links and they will help support what i'm doing here or you can go to carry.best to buy merch or gear and you can go to patreon.com forward slash best medc to support there and be sure to follow us around the web you can find us on twitter and instagram at best medc and until next time carry on <laughs>